Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky 2nd Chapter. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we finished that quest that required us to go to the top of the Emerald Tower and find the silver ring the crow took away from that lovely couple. And now what is on our list? Fis fishing spot search? Yeah, that's gonna continue on for a little while. Two monsters to kill Milkmain Road and Elise Highway. Where are we right now? We are on Milkmain Road. I did not find that one monster yet, huh? Hmm. I do remember looking for it. Well, while I walk around here look, doing another round looking for that monster, I might as well talk about um, this being a new recording session. So, um, I might... It might get uh, take me a little getting used to everything again, especially the voice acting, because as you well know, every time I start a new recording session, my voice acting gets to be a little tougher on myself, should I say. Well, I can concentrate enough on the dialogue yet, and I make more mistakes while reading, I believe. That is no matter now, though. We are now searching for that monster. Um... I missed a chest, that means I missed a monster too. Insulating tape. Excuse me, that wasn't meant for you, put it back! Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna. You are not standing still either. What? I, I haven't been here? Yes, I have been here, that's weird. Monsters appeared. Well, that's not gonna be much of a problem because we have Chloe with us. Um, in the meantime, there were a lot of comments on uh, f uh, the earlier episodes because I've now uploaded videos till episode 20, I believe, or so, and um, there was a lot of there was a lot of feedback, I could say, um, generally about how the game works and stuff like that, and game mechanics and so on and so forth. Well, that's actually a pretty good hit. I'm gonna take that. Um, what that means is that people told me about Zepeth rounds and Shining Palms and all that kind of jazz that I'm pretty happy about hearing. What did you have? You have 46 CP. I might as well not waste that. That aerial, you're not gonna... I'm just gonna normally attack with you, you know. Uh, you're gonna be able to beat that one. Gonna be able to beat that one easily. Dun, dun, dun. Might as well finish one off. Although I would have gotten that one with Tita anyways. That was unsmart. Maybe I would have, would not have gotten it with Tita. That's that's smarter. Yep. Good. Two damage? Uh, two enemies? Yeah. Pretty nice. Okay, Chloe. Chloe, you know what to do. Estelle is right there, and oh god, oh god, two critical rounds. Well, I'm playing on normal mode. That should not be that much of a problem, should it? Corruption of the land. 1,000 damage. Oh, of course. That's pretty convenient. Well, at least they, they did not attack. Devour. Well, you're gonna get hit in the front right now by a, by a whirlwind. Or a tornado. Or, or what would you call that? Spiral. Huh. Oh! <laughs> I love you, Chloe. I love you. You're pretty good. Uh, you have 540, 612. There is Zepeth rounds. That's gonna be convenient. Resisted the sleep, probably, yeah. If the experience is not worth talking about, but that is good, Zepeth. I like the red too. Savory pignonk, uh, pickly something in clear gelatin. Nice. Scent! That actually, oh, that was real good. Well, crap. Ooh. You know, scent is nice. Why is scent nice? Look at this. Look at these stats. Two times earth, two times water, two times fire, four times wind. But enemies become aware of your presence. That does mean... Saint. A crest. 
Ah, that's because of the earth. She does not have earth otherwise. Um, the absorb gives me... So it's basically just plus two earth for her, if I put it here. Not gonna put it here. Um, what is mine too? That has three times water, three times water. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Who is going to be able to utilize that the best? Most likely Chloe. In all honesty, if ever a character is going to utilize something best, it's almost certainly going to be Chloe. If I give you this, though, what do you learn? What do you have right now? Stuff and do 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 do. Sylpharion. That's going to be minus one in terms of wind. Getting her down to... Four wind, but plus two to earth, water, and fire. Twenty water. Twenty water is something. Twenty water is not something. I don't think that gives her anything. So I'm not gonna do that. You're gonna take that if. Ah, uh, that's arts minus seven percent. That's why it, why I didn't like to do that. I probably thought about that at some point. Okay. Do 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 do. If I look in my bracer book, what is the requirement for the super powerful wind attack? 20 wind, 5 gold, and 3 earth. Costs so much though. Aero Storm, I would be happy with Aero Storm, real happy. Yeah, um, I need 10 times wind on Chloe with that. I can do that. With Aero Storm, uh, Storm Chloe gets a lot more powerful. I don't want to take away the cast too. That's too valuable. How much gold does she have as is? Two. I took away the EP cut. If I want her to be able to cast Aero Storm, she's not going to be able to be this good at a, a, a good a healer. <sighs> mid-maxing, man, mid-maxing. Absorb, and she has EP cut 3. That is 4 times, plus 4 is 8. Do you have wind on anything else? You do not. If I were to switch this out for scent, that makes that worse. And now I give you absorb for this one. Now she only has lit TR and Tiara, which should be fine. It's 1000 for hmm. But what else does she have? Saint, single support, eh. Eh. Crest is nice. No, Crest is not. Earth Guard is very nice. Earth Guard was the nice thing. Lightning, don't care. So I would need to switch this out for a shield 4 to be super powerful in terms of wind, right? Never mind. Let's not do that. You have cast 2 and you have HP 2. And you have Absorb. Because those two blue don't do anything for you. Heaven's Eye. Ah, that's too good. In 
instead of sleep, you just take scent. That gives you a lot of stuff. That you should be happy with that. Ariel and Now if I were to switch out your evade 3 for a shield 4, would that do anything for you? It would. Plasma wave. Seal 20%. Aero Storm, there it is. Well, you have it now. Is that good? Probably. With EP cut, you have a lot of mana in total. Action one, you don't have cast at all. You have a little bit of healing. Earth Guard. I, sh I think that's cool. That is good. EP2, I honestly don't need you to have EP2, but you would be better off with a cast. But that takes away a lot of stuff. Mine too, you already have. That is good. For now, that's fine. For now, that is fine. When I craft a cast 2 again, or uh, I get a craft uh, uh, or I get a craft three somewhere I don't know where that's gonna happen yet then I'll have another uh, cast two ready and be, uh, I am able to give that to her as of this moment Charizard is a lot more powerful than she was before there's another chest I did not explain or explore this area at all seemingly you obtain the Emperor's new clothes not well Joshua obtained them before so now everyone, now you have something more in common with Joshua again. Still, you should be happy. But seriously, where is that monster hiding? That is odd. I have fought these yetis before. In Nebel Valley. Where I got... That is exactly where I got my... Got to try out my Hellgate for the first time. I remember it. I remember that being a thing. When is your turn going to be, Estelle? Way down there. That one Yeti is still gonna move and all the little ones are still gonna move. Meaning I'm gonna put it here. Oh, you're also gonna do something cool. You're gonna do Aero Storm, which has a much larger area. Hitting all of your, all of our enemies. Is someone weak against fire? Yeah, that beetle. That one's gonna get one shot. There was... Oh, there was a beetle hiding behind the other yeti. I wonder why those those yetis have a cute little tail. And such a fluffy tail, too. I wonder, man. Oh, you have cast. Oh, yeah, you have cast. That's fine. Oh wait, I mistook that other area for... For one of my skills, actually, not for one of their crafts. Oh, they have attack guard against wind. I should have seen that coming. It's not gonna make much of a matter with Chloe, because she has huge damage output, but... Yeah, that's as if it were, were normal without those 100 arts plus. Let's see how this looks. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Didn't do a whole lot, I know. None of them are down either. Snow breath. Freeze. Freeze on two people, that is not good. Critical round, really? Nothing. Okay, Chloe. For once, I should read this out. Giant foot, beast flesh, juicy bone. A monster said to exist since before the Great Collapse. If it gets angry, watch out. Weak to fire. I'll keep that in mind. 
You have a critical round. This is this one. I don't want to kill this that one right now. You're just gonna normally hit that one. Is mad. Uh oh. <laughs> now he's not so mad anymore. Or maybe he is, I don't care. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, Estelle and Chloe. Okay. It just turned ugly. Hmm. Okay, my strategy is not up to snuff right now. Dun, 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 dun. Just gonna kill that guy and the other one's gonna die to Chloe. Ah, that was the mad one. Never mind, nobody's gonna die to Chloe because you're gonna use Thelas on Estelle. Thealis. I don't I still don't know what I'm gonna call that. It's, it sucks losing those 200 CP that she had charged up, but then again, she has the gladiator's headband, and I, I could have seen that coming if I really cared about it. Don't kill, don't kill Tita, please. Monster. Oh, he's mad, but that's okay. 2100. That's gonna be fine. Because Tita's attack is gonna do 1000 damage. She's not frozen anymore. Well, almost 1,000, and now just Chloe just has to get her spell in Forte Knot. Um, you can use one fireball, that should definitely murder his face. 2,100, 2,300, yeah, 2,300. Well, that, takes care of that. that was a rough fight. Or uh, that was not a rough fight, that was badly executed on my part, yes. It's a better way of putting it. River bugs are nice. Exterminated that monster. Very nice. I think we're about done here, aren't we? Reverted bridge. Yes, we're gonna head back. Have I'm? It's gotten really warm, by the way. I I am <laughs> sitting here with my blanket on top of my controller. Ooh, it's warm. Then again, I have my my very cool water sitting in my freezer, so that's gonna be good. I'm gonna be taken care of for the rest of the day, I think. Okay, that fight really did not go so well. We're gonna go toward toward Elise Highway now, of course. Um, let's see, what did you have to offer again? Something interesting? I know you did not have um, cast three. EP cut three. Cast two is not good enough. Another mind three can't hurt. I really enjoy equipping mind ones. Do, 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 do. Actually, that is probably more useful in Charizard. 330. And if you equip it, you have also 330. So you're roughly on the same page in terms of arts, but Charizard has... Charizard is better in terms of the quality of arts with that large AoE wind arts. And, of course, the EP cut. And that is what I'm considering here. Um, apart from that, action one is really not cutting it. You have cast two. You'd profit from action. He can synthesize action three, right? Two in my inventory now. Ah, Tita. 
the speed stat in this game is extraordinarily important and having this action three quarters on her with a speed plus 30 percent like it's useful to have cast two and action three equipped at the same time but i'm gonna trade these out just look at that speed increase that's good she's gonna go first every turn now i think and that makes charizard gain that had plus 10 percent speed that's also really good but time to cast arts is greatly cut and equip that i hope she's gonna be happy with it maybe not that should do it for the moment let's look at those speed stats 45 32 32 25 okay still show me what you got in the next fight please it's been 20 minutes already i'm not gonna end the episode here because I have pretty much only been rambling and not doing much apart from that, but that is how these usually go. These first episodes of a recording session. Bright family home, I don't want to go there yet, so we're gonna head toward Gurun Gate. Where that fisherman is wa waiting for me. Where, where are all the monsters? That's weird, it's foggy, where- oh. The fog ends here. The fog is cleared. So along the Lee's Highway, the fog clears roughly 60 cells from the city. There don't seem to be any monsters in the fog either, so ensuring people's safety shouldn't be difficult. Yeah, hopefully. Well, that's all three roads checked out, so time to head back and report to Aina, right? Well, we can, but didn't you want to go home for a little while? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Let's stop by on our way back to the guild house. We will. Oh, no monsters, did you say? What did you say? Can you repeat that? So, pine plant, dirty carrot, and earthworms. Very nice. River bugs. Oh, beautiful fight. You're just gonna normally attack that man. You have Spiral Flare. They're all weak against fire, right? Yes, they are. Oh, that's, that's gonna do it, actually. Never mind, I shouldn't have used those arts. That was a quick fight. Oh, didn't see that one coming. I did not read his dialogue out. Dang. Let's say I wanted to get her CP bar up. Oh, no, no bait. Wrong thing. Also wrong thing. No, I can't actually open up the, the monster manual here. Monster guide. Little girl and Gransel and Roland. There it is. What did I just fight? Pine plant? Pine plant. A plant monster that lurks in forests, uses water-based based arts and explodes when defeated. Alrighty, let's see what this area has got to offer apart from those. Not much. Oh, don't. Okay. Oh, those birds again. Um, what do you do? A ferocious flying monster can summon meteorites, so watch out for its arts moves. I'm just gonna kick that one to uh, there, so... How much range do you have on your whip? It was a range of three, that's good. Because the range of three actually ensures that she doesn't take damage when this pine thing explodes. Yeah. That is not quite how I planned that out. You just use air strike on this one. La 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 la. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's a lot of damage, actually. I should probably heal that. Mm hmm. Tinder poultry, bird egg. I think all of those are not bait. I always want to get bait. With Tita, I don't have healing. All right, gonna heal yourself then. I 
As I fought you. Now I have. Okay, you're just gonna use crafts and true hurricane on everybody. What are you? Rhino Cider. Lucky Fang, cure it to four and a monster living deep within the forest. Its thick armored hide gives it great defense. Thing is, these two beetles and this Renasider are right now um, gonna get hurt greatly by Tita. This one is out of the range, so I'm gonna just kill that one like that. And the Reno Cider, is it weak against arts? Against water, a little weak. So I'm gonna cast a blue impact on it. Has great defense, but it's gonna get hurt by arts. Oh man, it doesn't quite... That's okay. Tita's gonna have another go at this. <laughs> You're just gonna finish that one off. Wait. Ah, oh, she has so many arts. I have to get used to just pushing right and left there. <laughs> well, the next boss is gonna have to prepare itself. We're good to go. Have I mentioned how warm it is? I know my commentary is kinda lagging at the moment, but it's warm. Like, where does this... Oh, that's actually a pretty long way. Cool. No chests so far either, so there should be some soon. And there is that one way into the forest at some point. Ooh, look at that bad boy. I bet I could fish here. Piss kiss heart. River bug and row. I only have one of each. Can concentrate on this one. Wait for the audio cue. Good. Liberal carp, of course, and row. Very nice. A trout! Is that a new one? Mirage Zepeth. Yes, the trout is new. I have not found trout before. Dumplings are just gonna give me more liberal carps, aren't they? And I've got nine of them, too. Crazy. More Mirage Zepeth, huh? No, Fish Filet, what? Mm. The Pearl Glass is extraordinarily valuable, though. They sell for 1,000. There's a normal carp. I'm gonna use more dumplings here, even though they, it's got like a 90% ch chance this is gonna be a little bit of a carp. But the pearl glass is valuable. There was no audio cue. Liberal carp. What a surprise there. Normal carp. Better. This is gonna be the last dumpling I throw into this water. But that's a new fishing spot found. That's gonna make that one fisherman very happy. Another pearl glass, very nice fish fillet. All right, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode right here. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Until then, bye-bye.